It's not often that Travel Today has a focus on leaving the world better than you found it, but the partners that the United States Tour Operators Association members choose to work with care about giving back to the environment. Yeah, so get it. Obviously, is Big Five Preserve, so obviously the Big Five is the, the, the core attraction here. Yeah? Principle of Singida is high uh, cost, low impact tourism. The real core of this place is wilderness, and the one thing you don't want to lose is that wilderness feel, having too many people roaming around, too many vehicles, aircraft. The type of tourism that we, we have here, we can have less guests, we give them a better product, and therefore the impact is less on the environment. It was easy for me to see that this reference for the land, the wildlife, the local people was first and foremost to all the partners on our tour. On our game drives at Singita, we weren't part of a mob of cars, cameras clicking in animal spaces. I barely saw the other trucks as they made sure to stagger us as to not overwhelm the animals. They were the priority. We also observed the majesty of the animals without interfering with their lives, and usually without them even observing us. We're seeing the white rhino. These are one of the most hunted in all of South Africa right now, so it's really special that we're getting to see them. It's difficult to talk about the game in South Africa without paying attention to the alarming problem with poaching, particularly of the rhino. That's why I was thrilled to learn about Singita's active and successful efforts in thwarting poachers and protecting the reserve's animals. Singita brought in canine conservation to counteract uh, rhino poaching within this area. We have locked this area down. We have got an extremely high presence in the area. Our field rangers are patrolling with their canines in the bush 24-7 around the clock. U.S. Tour Operators Association members understand that without protecting the environment, travel wouldn't be possible. Swain Destinations gave us the chance to learn more about cheetahs and what's being done to protect these highly endangered creatures. Cheetah Outreach is a cheetah wildlife center located outside of Cape Town that raises captive cheetahs to serve as ambassadors for the rest of their population. I couldn't believe that I could pet a playful cheetah cub. By letting travelers learn about the cheetah up close, the Cheetah Outreach hopes to educate the world about what we can do to help the cheetah's numbers improve. The whole purpose of this place is for you to learn firsthand more about the cheetah and thus be able to help conserve them, have more awareness, and you get to come into the enclosures and actually pet them and touch them. It's really amazing. This experience that USTOA member Swain Destinations facilitated only reinforced the desperate need to protect the world's endangered animals from ourselves. <laughs>